for a chance of winning this dinosaur toy, stay tuned and subscribe as we'll be giving this one away in a huge Jurassic giveaway very soon. Hey guys and welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to be taking a look at this guy. It's the Gorgosaurus from Walking with Dinosaurs 3D. Now he's affectionately known as Gorgon in the film and this is the ultimate Gorgon uh, toy figure and uh, it measures a whopping 42 centimeters long. Um, it's humongous and uh, the thing that it most reminds me of is the T-Rex from Jurassic Park because it's obvious that this is the uh, dominant carnivore in the Walking with Dinosaurs 3D film, which I'm yet to see. Um, but he looks very similar to the big red T-Rex or the Thrasher T-Rex that came out with The Lost World. And uh, he even boasts some similar features. So let's get a closer look at the packaging first of all. Up here in the corner you can see that this has been distributed by BBC Earth. So they're the people manufacturing the toys, and I believe they made some Walking with Dinosaurs toys in the past, which are now quite scarce. You can see that if you scan uh, this barcode, you can actually get a digital Gorgon on your iPad or iPhone, which is quite cool. Um, down here we've got Try Me. Uh, now we'll talk more about that in just a second. You can see here is a child playing with the ultimate Gorgon and making him roar. And then as we go down here, Past the tail, you can see there's more sound effects there saying roar. Uh, it says real dinosaur sounds there on that tab. We've got the Walking with Dinosaurs logo, the movie, down here. And then we've got fully posable here, Ultimate Gorgon. And an image of the Gorgon roaring there. And actually up here there's another tab and it says real feel skin. On the back here we've got the Walking with Dinosaurs 3D logo again. A lovely picture of the ultimate Gorgon. And here it tells you that you've got 14 points of articulation as well as real feel skin and sound effects. Here we've got a kid playing with the Gorgon. I'm not sure who's roaring more, the kid or the Gorgon, but there we go. And then it says here real feel dino skin, fully posable. And down here it gives you instructions on how to install the batteries. And actually if you give this thing a feel you'll notice that this area here is made of a hard plastic and the arms and the legs and the tail are made of this hard plastic but this area in particular is made of a rubbery material uh, not as rubbery as the Jurassic Park toys but it's sort of like a halfway between plastic and rubber and if you press down on the back here we get some interesting sound effects So I'm not so sure how many there are there, there's quite a few. I think we've got round to the first one there, and I think, uh, I'm guessing there's about five or six different sounds there, so um, it's really cool that it's got quite a range of sound effects. Um, it's more than came with the Jurassic Park T-Rex. Um, now we'll get into the articulation once we get this guy out of the box, um, but that's a nice try me feature, so if you're in the shops you can see what the electronics are like before you buy. So let's get this humongous dinosaur out of his packaging. So here is the mighty Gorgosaurus Gorgon out of the packaging and he is very impressive actually. I think out of the packaging, um, because he's not contained in the cardboard, the sounds actually seem, seem to resonate louder and it's because the speaker is actually underneath here. So inside the packaging you don't get the full effect of the volume, but um, once he's out of the packaging he's really loud. And apart from that he's a huge toy. He's not as big as the Jurassic Park um, Red Rex. Um, he's a bit smaller. But uh, don't let that uh, put you off him because he's a really fantastic little toy and we'll get into more detail in just a minute. So first of all the sculpt is very nice. Um, he's got a very striking head, 
um, with these sort of bony crests above his eyes. Um, he's very nicely sculpted all down the body. You can see his rib cage here. Um, he's got nicely sculpted legs. There is a little bit of compromise so that he's got some nice articulation, but I think it's worth it, and you'll see that in just a minute. In terms of the paint job, he's got some nice blues and greens. I'm not sure about the metallic look. Um, it was something that appeared on some of the Jurassic Park 3 line toys, and it worked with some, but I think with this particular dinosaur, I'm not too keen on the metallic paint look, because why would a dinosaur have metallic paint on its skin? That part just doesn't make sense. Uh, to me. So let's get a closer look at him. So starting with the head, they've done a really nice sculpt job and actually if I turn the head just a little bit you can see some really nice sculpting of scales down here on the bottom of the chin and all the way along the head sculpt. It's just a really distinctive and well done uh, sculpt. And if I open up his jaw you can see that they've even sculpted the teeth and the tongue um, it's not as detailed as some of the Papo figurines, but it's still very, very good. And the paint job is very clean and nicely done. So moving down, we've got the, the neck here with some nice folds. I'll move it towards the light so you can see it a bit better. Some nice folds and creases in the neck. And then as we go down, you can see the rib cage showing through there. Some nicely sculpted but minuscule arms. So you can see some tendons in the arms there, very nice indeed. And then as we go down the body, you can see here are the legs, nicely sculpted, nice level of surface detail, and some nice tendons on the leg there, and actually very nicely sculpted claws on the feet. Underneath you can see there's a little bit of a compromise there where they've had to install the sound uh, components. So we've lost a little bit of the sculpting of the belly. But to be honest you don't see this too much so it's not too much of a, of a big deal. And then as we go down you can see the tail is nicely sculpted and that, that curls around nicely. So instead of the uh, the big red rex that we're used to with the uh, the bend in the Jurassic Park tail, they've actually done this one fairly elegantly to fit it into the packaging. So there we go. That's the sculpt. And then obviously we've got this paint job. So you can see this metallic blue-green paint on the back. Now I'm not too sure about this because I can't see why you'd want silver on a dinosaur, why you'd want that metallic paint. But to be honest, it's the most you know, it's the smallest problem uh, with this toy and uh, the rest of the features more than make up for it. So the main reason I'm fond of the Gorgosaurus here is because he's got great articulation. So his jaw can open and close as I've already shown you. You can see right inside there. It actually goes pretty wide. It goes wider than that. So you can get a pretty good roar there. His head, well it's a little bit loose actually on closing. His head uh, does move side to side and up and down. The side to side is more restricted than the up and down, but it's still cool that you can actually have that head pivot. And then the neck is actually really mobile. Oh, excuse me, I've obviously offended him. But you can move his neck around and it's a really nice uh, ball pivot. But it's really deep, the pivot is really deep in here, so the neck is really mobile. You can get some real, you know, you can get him looking right up. And that's pretty cool for a dinosaur figure. I haven't seen that sort of articulation in a dinosaur toy. Then here we've got like a ball and socket joint. So you can move the arm around and it's on a little pivot there as well. So you can get some real good poses with the arms. And then as we go down the body to the legs, this part moves backwards and forwards. But then at the knee, you can twist and you can bend backwards and forwards. So you can get them completely outstretched like that. So that's pretty cool. Then down here, we've got the same thing. So let's just go like this. So here at the ankle, you've got the same thing again backwards and completely outstretched. 
really nice and you can twist it and then at the foot here you can rock the foot you can actually go up and down but then you can also twist it you can't actually rock it excuse me I thought you could but no you can only twist it and up and down there's no toe articulation but to be honest I'm not really complaining much when I'm getting this much on the body and then down on the tail we've got that same freedom of movement with the neck really good so you can get some really extreme poses with the neck and the tail um, which I think is fantastic uh, so we can move that one up so you can get him posed and move the tail right down so yeah in terms of articulation this guy is pretty special so what are the downsides to this Gorgosaurus toy well for one it's difficult to make him stand up properly with all this articulation I've tried my best to balance him and uh, as you can see he quite often falls over so um, unlike the Jurassic Park Red T-Rex um, this guy is quite difficult to manage to get him to stand up um, I end up having to use his tail to sort of balance or rest against in order to get him to make him look like he's standing um, the other thing is although the articulation is really good uh, there is definitely a feeling of uh, it's being made from a cheaper plastic so for example round the leg area here you can see that I've twisted this leg um, and if I twist it further you'll see that actually it pops out over the edge of this leg and then it's very hard to get it to go back underneath so um, there is a bit of wear already where the soft plastic has started to rub against this part of the leg and um, you can just feel it, you know uh, when it's made of a cheaper plastic you can just feel the difference but what I do like is that this area is made from a mixture of this sort of plastic you feel but also with a rubber as well so you get this realistic feeling skin around the rib cage, um, very much like the Jurassic Park toys that we remember. So up here on the packaging is a QR barcode. Now if you've got a QR reader app, what you can do is use your smartphone to detect uh, the website embedded in this link. And here we go, it should take you to that page. And as you can see, it takes you to uh, the Walking with Dinosaurs page. And it says to click here to print out um, a special Walking with Dinosaurs target. You need to download an iTunes app and then you can project um, the 3D dinosaur on that target. So what I'll do is I'll put the link to this down below so you can go and follow this link and do it yourself with um, an iPhone or an iPad. But right now I don't have a printer to hand um, but when I do I will show you this in a future video. So there we have it guys, that was the Walking with Dinosaurs 3D Ultimate Gorgon figure. And if you're a Jurassic Park fan, I think this one would scale up very well with the rest of your dinosaur toys. And I think it's probably the closest thing we're going to get to a Jurassic Park toy until Jurassic Park 4 comes out in 2015. So I definitely recommend you pick this guy up. He's got some great articulation, some great electronic features, and he's got some realistic rubbery skin as well. Okay guys, rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.